Hello and welcome to another one of Sporty's Product Pirate videos. My name is Doug and today we're going to talk about oxygen systems, specifically portable oxygen systems. Many of us fly aircraft that have the capability of going to higher altitudes, but they don't have oxygen systems built into them. So we can take a portable system along with us to supplement in the case we want to go higher. What are those altitudes? Specifically above 14,000 feet, required crew members need to use oxygen above 12,500 feet, if you're up there for more than a half an hour, you're gonna to need to use oxygen as well. But what might be the right answer for you might be not the right answer for somebody else. Just because the FAA says 12.5 is where we should start using oxygen, you might wanna consider using oxygen at a lower level. The example here is a 21-year-old marathon runner in great shape, great health, probably doesn't need oxygen as soon as a 70-year-old slightly overweight, smoking two packs a day, they might need oxygen at a lower level. And how to find out what's right for you? The first step in that whole equation is buy yourself one of these. It's a pulse oximeter. And this will give you your heart rate as well as your blood saturation rate for oxygen. These are great. And you can monitor your oxygen levels here on the ground as well as your pulse, and then compare that to what you see in the air. Um, you're gonna ask right away, hey, what's the right number for me on how much oxygen I should have in my blood. Well, that varies for every person. It's a little different. So next time you talk to your doctor, your AME, see what they think on what's the right level that you should start using oxygen at. You might find that the FAA's required 12.5 might be a little higher than what you should be uh, looking at. Portable oxygen systems allow you the capability of upgrading down the line and also taking it with you after you get to your final destination, whether that's for refill or other purposes. Portables offer a great capability over some of the install systems out there. The Skyox system is the one we sell here at Sporties and it's extremely popular. Each oxygen system consists of three things, a tank, a regulator, and then either a mask or cannula that plugs into the top. We'll start with tanks. The tank size of this one right here is 22 cubic feet and you'll find that most tanks are rated in cubic feet. Uh, this is one of our more popular sizes. We also sell a 15, which is a little smaller, and that's a very popular size too. They, they sell smaller ones and larger ones. It kind of depends on what you're looking for. Most people try to buy the largest tank they can to get the most volume of air. Now, there's pros and cons to that. One being weight. If you buy a larger tank, you're going to have a lot more weight, but then you're also going to have a lot more run time. So it's kind of a trade-off. Uh, the 22 cubic foot cylinder seems to be most popular for a four-place system, and the 15 cubic foot seems to be the most popular for a two-place system. On top of the tank, you'll find a regulator, and this is the Skyox Click a Breath Regulator. There's different ports for your mask and cannulas that go in here, so you can plug two cannulas in or two masks. And on the side of the uh, regulator here, it has the instructions on exactly what to dial in at different altitudes. The neat thing about this regulator is you don't have to do any math or figure anything out. It's so simple with the instructions on here. No matter if I have one mask or two masks plugged in here, I can just dial into exactly what I need and it does the rest. There is no uh, figuring out uh, flow rates or anything else. The last part of this equation is the cannulas and mask systems. Now a cannula is uh, the device that goes into your nose. You have two little things that go into your nasal passages. There's a pendant that hangs around your neck. A cannula system uses roughly a third of the oxygen as a mass system. So you can greatly increase the longevity of your bottle if you're using a cannula versus a mass. All the Skyox systems we sell here at Spoys include a free carrying case. This is great because you need some place to put your oxygen bottle. And these cases are designed to hang on the back of a seat. So whether it's a 210 or Cirrus, you can hang on the back of the seat and just run your uh, tubes up for your cannula systems. When you get to your final destination and you need to refill your oxygen cylinder, you can take it with you, go to the FBO or medical supply place, whatever, and get it refilled. Thank you for joining us for another Sporty's Product Pirate video. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and all these products can be seen at sporties.com.